Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Corey with iCrank Disc Golf and I got a really cool comparison video today. I got a Sky God 3 and the brand new Creator Series Cloud Breaker. Let's get into it. That I sat by myself In my room, out my mind Trying to handle my health All alone on the phone Hoping you pick up the cell But now I know how it goes When I get your voicemail Where were you on the nights That I sat by myself In my room, out my mind Trying to handle my health All alone on the phone Hoping you pick up the cell But now I know how it goes When I get your voicemail So many times I've cried So many times I've hurt So many times I've tried it Sorry for my absence on Monday. My knee's been really bugging me, so I took like a week off of playing at all. It feels great today though, back to 100%, so don't worry about me. Now I got the brand new Cloud Breaker and a Cloud Breaker 3 to see how they fly compared to each other. Um, I threw them both once, whoops, threw them both once, and this thing is pretty domey. Kind of pop toppy. Let's see if you can hear it. No, kind of pop toppy. This one is, it's not flat, but it's not domey either. I think this one will be a little less stable than the Cloud Breaker 3. And for like a baseline disc, I have, I have a Discraft Zeus. Feels the same. Pottery line is rel a little bit different, very similar. It's different than the Cloud Breaker 3, but it's very similar to the regular Cloud Breaker. So those pictures will be on the screen of the party line comparisons and the flight plates and stuff. We're here at Lake Oklahoma again on hole nine. I'm parallel to the tee pad, so this is still about 324 feet or whatever the distance is on this hole. Um, I'm just trying to get there, see how these fly in comparison with each other. All right, so let's first get into off it. is the baseline Zeus. See how this goes. All right, that wasn't too bad. We got down there. Now we're gonna go. Cloud Breaker 3. All right, so from the Zeus to the Cloud Breaker 3, I threw them on a little bit different lines. The, the Zeus came out on pure hyzer. The other one was flat to finish. Um, they still went about the same distance though, which is kind of, that's different. But next is the brand new Cloud Breaker 3. Let's see if I can get it out there flat, hopefully. And get to the pin. Alright, all those discs are pretty overstable. Um, as you can see, though, the Cloud Breaker 3 had a hard finish, even though I threw it flat. And the Zeus and the Cloud Breaker both had like a pushing finish. So I have a feeling that those two are really going to be right next to each other. Um, they're, I think they're around the tree, which is a pretty good drive um, for an overstable disc for me. And then I think the Cloud Breaker 3 is going to be a little bit further because I threw it, I think I threw it the best. It's going to be a little bit further, um, maybe by six, seven feet, maybe 10, but we'll see when we get down there. Thank you for showing support on my last couple of videos. I've uh, been struggling to try to come up with ideas to do by myself. Um, thanks for the support though. I've got a good amount of likes per view count. So that's, that's all I can ask for. Thank you guys. So my prediction was wrong. Um, this thing is way more stable. So this was the shortest one. Oh, the Cloud Breaker, the new Cloud Breaker went the furthest. 
and I did not set that up. The Zeus is right there. The pin is right there. So this is about, I want to say 22 feet. Granted, I'm behind a tree, but I'm not putting, so that's not too bad. And the Zeus. So I guess I was wrong earlier and I threw the cloud breaker, the new cloud breaker better than the three. Um, am I surprised? No, because this thing is pretty overstable now, as we can tell now. Um, this thing's actually pretty neutral. Matt, I guess you were right. I guess you were right on this one for once that this thing is a uh, more of a bomber disc than an overstable driver. All right, I'm gonna throw the three this again, but I'm gonna see if I can get some ante on it and see if I can really get these things to fly. See how stable they really are if I can get over on them. Again, I'm gonna go Zeus first, CB3, and then Cloudbreaker. All right, I'm gonna try to yank over on this Zeus, see if I can get to go further than it did. I didn't yank over on it, but that was a, a beam. All right, I'm really gonna try to yank over on this. My Anheuser shot is not there right now. But that Zeus, that Zeus went far. Yank on it, yank on it. There we go. Oh, that thing is, that thing is stable. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna try to yank over on the Cloud Breaker. No. Creator Series Cloud Breaker. See if I can get over on it. Oh yeah, that went further. That went further than the Zeus on that beam line and everything. So on those flex lines, the Cloud Breaker 3 almost landed in the same spot as it did when I threw it flat. Now these two are within three feet of each other. Ooh, the Zeus got it. Granted, I threw that on a very flat and hard line, like a Calvin Heinberg type line. And this thing I kind of got over on. But you see the comparison. So to wrap the video up, the Zeus and the Cloudbreaker 3 are way more similar than the Creator Series Cloudbreaker. It, they're both way more overstable. Um, the other one, regular Cloudbreaker, is definitely more of a bomber, straight, slight finish disc, like a, maybe like a Wraith or a good destroyer that doesn't isn't super overstable. If you could, please like, subscribe, comment, and share the videos. I I would love to get, I need to get more subscribers. I want to get to 100 before September. It's not going to happen, though. Um, maybe before October, though. That would be awesome. So, thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you later.